So honestly, this video here couldn't come at a more perfect time. I feel like there may be cracks all over the earth emerging everywhere pretty soon. Have you been noticing the random earthquakes in areas that we normally don't have them lately? New Jersey, New York area. Like, I don't know if the continent is about to break apart or what's going on, but this video here is the terrifying cracks emerged all over the earth. Let's check it out. 50 feet deep suddenly opened up in the ground in Africa. It's already 65 feet wide in some places and growing. The crack stretches along Kenya's Great Rift Valley. Every time we dig into the strange nature of our planet, we uncover jaw-dropping wonders. And today, we're delving into the most mind-blowing cracks in Earth's surface. These aren't just ordinary cracks, but massive crevices that confuse the mind. From rifts that could split continents to a steep-sided rift hiding fiery depths, these earthy scars hold secrets of our planet's violently disturbed past. Get ready to face your deepest fears as we reveal the 16 most terrifying cracks in the Earth that scientists recently have discovered. Number 16. Karagbolten. In the beautiful country of Norway, there's a place called Karagbolten that has been captivating people for over a hundred years. It's a huge boulder, about the size of five big cars, wedged between two mountains above a deep 9 to 84 meter hole. This boulder didn't just magically appear there. A long, long time ago, during the Ice Age, massive glaciers covered the land and carried rocks with them. When the ice melted, some rocks were left behind, including this massive boulder stuck in My a God. narrow space. What's exciting is that each massive boulder stuck in a narrow space. Like, I get it. Let me go back to it. Behind, including... I get it. Maybe in my younger days, I'd be right there with y'all. But today I got too much to lose and a lot to live for, fam. Why are we doing that? And you can imagine how many people have stepped on this rock, right? To get a photo shot, get a, 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 for a photo op. A lot of people, right? We can, we can just say probably a lot, a lot of people. Who's to say it's not your body weight that finally sends this thing tumbling down? <laughs> I got too much to live for. This massive boulder stuck in a narrow space. What's exciting is that even though this boulder looks like it could fall at any moment, thousands of brave visitors climb on top of it every year. They want to experience what it's like to be suspended in the air with only a hanging piece of rock keeping them from falling into the deep, dangerous hole below. But here's the truly unbelievable part. Despite how risky it seems, not a single person has died from falling off the boulder. This fact yet. Please make sure we put a yet at the end of that. It is truly astonishing when you consider how high up it is and how dangerous it is to reach it. It's proof of the courage and carefulness of those who dare to climb it. Imagine standing on a huge rock, feeling the wind in your hair and the thrill of being so high up. You'd be able to see for miles around and the view would be breathtaking. Did she just jump? It's no wonder that Kierakbolten is such a popular destination for adventurers and nature lovers alike. It's a place where you can experience the wonders of nature in a truly unique and unforgettable way. So if you ever find yourself in Norway, make sure to visit Kierakbolten. It's a place like no other, where you can see nature's power and beauty up close and maybe even summon the courage to climb to the top of the world's most famous boulder. Number 15, the Great Rift. In East Africa, something very interesting and a bit scary is happening because of some really strong movements in the Earth's crust that happened a long time ago, around 22 to 25 million years ago. This event, which started during the Emios period, has been getting worse over the years. We're worried that soon the African continent might split into two, creating a new ocean. This split is happening along what's called the East African Rift, which is one of the longest cracks in the Earth's surface, stretching about 3,500 kilometers. The East African Rift is like a giant hole in the ground that's actively pulling apart and stretching the Earth's surface. This is happening because of a geological tug of war between two huge pieces of the Earth's crust called the Somali and Nubian Plates. 
The interesting thing is that this separation is also affecting another plate, the Northern Arabian plate. So not only will Africa be split into two, but eventually it will also be isolated from the rest of the world. It's both scary and fascinating to think about how the earth is constantly changing and moving beneath our feet. Number 14, Pit of Hell in Turkmenistan. Deep in the faraway land of Turkmenistan, there lies a place unlike any other. It's not just any hole in the ground. It's a massive void, a doorway to the depths of the earth itself. ...has ordered his officials to find a way to put out a fire that's been burning for decades in a huge desert crater. Imagine a giant pit glowing with fiery flames that light up the sky, even in the darkest of nights. This isn't your ordinary hole. It's like a glimpse into a world of fire, something straight out of the stories people tell about hell. If you were brave enough to stand near the edge of this burning crater, you'd feel a chill run down your spine. The air around it feels heavy and thick with the mystery of what lies below. It's as if some unseen force is calling out to you, pulling you closer with each step you take. This place, known as the door to hell, is not just a physical pit. It's like a gateway to realms beyond imagination. A daring adventurer named George Karunis was among the first to explore this fiery pit. He and his team journeyed into the depths, eager to uncover its secrets. What they found was beyond anything they could have imagined. Yes. The pit was indeed filled with roaring flames, blazing day and night with an almost overwhelming intensity. The heat radiating from it was so intense that it was almost unbearable to stand nearby. And all around the edges and towards the center, there were thousands of small flames flickering, like stars in the night sky. But here's the thing. This fiery pit wasn't formed by nature. Humans created it. Back in 1971, scientists discovered a vast reservoir of natural gas underground. In their attempt to extract the gas, they drilled deep into the earth, unaware of the danger lurking below. Suddenly, the ground collapsed, creating a massive crater that threatened to release poisonous gases into the air. In a desperate attempt to contain the danger, the scientists made a bold decision. They set the gas ablaze, hoping it would burn out quickly. However, things didn't go as planned. Instead of extinguishing the flames, they only grew stronger, burning with a ferocity that seemed impossible to extinguish. And so for over 50 years, this fiery pit has continued to burn. Drawn this is almost like, a, almost, not quite, though it's minus the lava and everything, but almost like a, a man-made volcano or, or something like that, you know what I mean? Close. Find curious minds from all corners of the globe to witness its incredible fury. So, if you ever find yourself in Turkmenistan, visit the door to hell. But beware, no. for the flames that burn here are not easily tamed and the mysteries they hold are as deep as the earth itself. Number 13, Valley de Mili. Deep in the heart of a secluded valley lies a place of wonder and mystery known as Valley de Mili. This valley is like a hidden sanctuary, protected by ancient trees and surrounded by an aura that seems to transcend the ordinary. It's said that in the 17th century, Valley de Mili was a gathering place for a secretive society known as the Mili Illuminati. Rumors suggest that this society held clandestine meetings deep within the valley, where great thinkers of the time exchanged forbidden knowledge. At the heart of the valley stands the Whispering Cliffs, where the wind carries murmurs of sounds that seem to echo through time. Legends say that these cliffs were once the site of lively conversations and laughter, now lost to the ages. It's also believed that hidden within these cliffs is a secret library containing scrolls that reveal the secrets of the cosmos. As you wander through the valley, you'll come across the remnants of a forgotten chapel, its stones weathered by the passage of time. This silent witness to bygone prayers adds to the mystique of the place where time feels suspended, especially under the moonlit sky. Locals say that Valley de Mili is a place of intense energy but also of deep panic. 
They speak of ghostly phantoms that dance along the meandering stream, their laughter echoing through the silence. Some believe that these spirits are the residual energy of ancient rites, while others think they are the ghosts of the Milli Illuminati, still lingering in the shadows. Whatever the truth may be, Valley de Milli is an unforgotten place where mystery thrives, waiting to be unraveled by those curious enough to explore its secrets. So, if you ever find yourself near Valley de Milli, be sure to take a stroll through its ancient paths if you can. Who knows what mysteries and wonders you might uncover in this hidden sanctuary of the past? Number 12. This makes me question, though. Do we actually know how far the quote-unquote Illuminati goes back in time? Does anybody have an idea or where you first might have came across some type of video where they talked about where it first initially established itself? Kumbu Icefall. On the slopes of Mount Everest lies a place of incredible beauty and extreme danger, the Kumbu Icefall. This icy expanse stretches 600 meters across the mountain's treacherous zone, and it's a place that even the bravest climbers fear. You might wonder why anyone would risk crossing such a perilous path. The truth is, if you want to reach the summit of Everest, you have no choice but to pass through the Kumbu Icefall. But crossing the Icefall is no easy feat. The ice is constantly moving in unpredictable ways, making it incredibly unstable. Towering ice blocks and deep crevasses lurk beneath the surface, ready to collapse at any moment and swallow anyone who dares to tread upon them. This is why navigating the icefall is a daunting task that can take experienced climbers up to 12 hours to complete. To help climbers traverse this dangerous terrain, teams of skilled Sherpas known as icefall doctors install ropes and ladders along the route. These tools provide crucial support and guidance, but they can only do so much to mitigate the risks. Despite their efforts, the threat of ice collapses is ever-present. In fact, between 1953 and 2016, the Kumbu Icefall claimed the lives of at least 44 climbers, mm. including Sherpas. Despite its dangers, the Kumbu Icefall is a place of awe-inspiring beauty. The sight of this icy labyrinth is enough to leave anyone speechless. Number 11. Thors. That number was pretty high. I expected them to say maybe 10, 5 to 10-ish. You know what I mean? That number is, is way too high, man. We might need to figure out some other type of thrill-seeking, uh, you know what I mean, extracurricular activity to do because that's, that's, that's extremely not safe, man. And those Sherpas already are un well underpaid. I did a whole video on them. It's very, very interesting on how they're treated, man. Well, on the stunning Oregon coast amidst the rugged cliffs and crashing waves of the Pacific Ocean lies a natural wonder that seems straight out of a myth. Thor's well. This extraordinary marvel is no ordinary well. It's often called the gate of hell, and for good reason. When you stand near it, you'll be mesmerized by the dramatic display of water that looks like something from the depths of the underworld. What makes Thor's well even more captivating is the way it behaves with the tides. When the tide is low, water flows into a cave below the well, filling it up like a giant bowl. This serene scene changes dramatically when the high tide arrives. The water in the well surges upwards with incredible force shooting more than 40 feet into the air. It's a breathtaking sight that gives the illusion of the mighty Pacific Ocean being swallowed by the Earth itself. But as captivating as this spectacle may be, it's important to remember that Thor's well is also incredibly dangerous. The powerful surges of water can sweep away unsuspecting individuals in the blink of an eye. So while it's a sight to behold from a safe distance, it's crucial to respect the power of nature and admire it from afar. Thor's well is not just a natural wonder. It's a place where nature's forces collide, creating a spectacle that leaves all who witness it in awe. Number 10. Palu City The island of Sulawesi in Indonesia is like a precious gem, shaped by the powerful forces of nature. Its unique curved shape, like a perfect circle, draws people in with its mysterious allure. 
but it's not just the island's shape that makes it special. It's also the stunning surroundings and the crystal clear waters that make it a true beauty to behold. However, despite its undeniable charm, Sulawesi has faced its fair share of challenges. This is because it sits in the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area known for its frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. In 2018, the island was hit by a massive earthquake with a magnitude of 7.5. But the disaster didn't end there. The earthquake triggered a series of destructive events, including liquefaction. Liquefaction is a scary phenomenon that happens when sandy soil turns into liquid during an earthquake. This caused buildings to tilt or sink into the ground, and some parts of neighborhoods were swallowed up entirely. It was a devastating blow to the people living on the island, who had to deal with the loss of their homes and loved ones. To make matters worse, shortly after the earthquake, a tsunami struck the area, adding to the already catastrophic situation. With waves reaching up to six meters high, the tsunami further worsened the damage and increased the death toll. Despite these challenges, the people of Sulawesi showed incredible resilience in the face of adversity. Communities came together to support each other, and aid organizations rushed to assist those in need. It was a difficult time, but it also showed the strength and compassion of the human spirit. Number nine. See, that's the, the scary part about living on the coast. Although it's beautiful, you have the beach, the water, the just everything about it is beautiful. You also have the flip side to it. Everybody's talking about global warming. So if these glaciers continue to melt, it's going to cause sea levels to rise. Now, if you have, if the coast you're on happens to have a fault line running through it, you got to worry about what? Earthquake. Earthquake happening turns the soil to soft liquid. Now your house is moving or the water's rising or it creates a tsunami. Like it's a lot to deal with and think about, man, when you're living on the coast. The East African Rift. Imagine a place where nature puts on the most spectacular show, leaving everyone who sees it with memories that last a lifetime. That's exactly what you'll find in the Great Rift Valley, a breathtaking wonder that stretches between two continents, from southwestern Asia to Central Africa. It's amazing to think that this stunning landscape was shaped by powerful events like earthquakes and tectonic movements. The best way to experience the beauty of the Great Rift Valley is to stand on its edge and gaze into the depths below. No, thank you. Here, you'll be treated to a magnificent view of towering cliffs rising high into the sky. These cliffs are adorned with layers of rock, each one sparkling with a dazzling array of colors. And if you listen closely, you might even hear the enchanting melody of waterfalls cascading through the rift. But the wonders of the Great Rift Valley don't stop there. As you venture further into its vastness, you'll be filled with curiosity about the mysteries it holds. This dramatic landscape isn't just a sight to behold, it's also a place of great historical significance. It's been called the Cradle of Civilization because it's where some of humanity's earliest ancestors, like Homo habilis and Homo erectus, once lived. Exploring the Great Rift Valley is like stepping back in time and witnessing the birth of humanity. It's a place where the wonders of nature and the story of our evolution come together in perfect harmony. Number eight, Real Foot Lake. A long time ago, in the winter of 1811 to 1812, something extraordinary happened in what we now call Tennessee. A series of very strong earthquakes up to 150 miles wide struck the area from the new Madrid fault zone. These were not what? just any earthquakes, they were some of the biggest ever recorded in the eastern United States. The force of these earthquakes... I gotta write that down. New Madrid fault zone. I didn't know there was a fault line running through Tennessee like that. ...was so strong that it made the mighty Mississippi River flow backward for a whole day. Imagine that. A river flowing the wrong way. But that's not all. When the shaking stopped and the earth settled, something even more incredible happened. The ground sank, creating a big dent in the earth. This dent filled up with water from the Mississippi River and other nearby waterways, creating a new lake. This lake, called Real Foot Lake, is a huge body of water, covering 180,000 acres. It's not like any other lake, though. 
It's a magical place with swampy areas, bayou-like ditches, and deep basins. But the most magical thing about Real Foot Lake happens at sunset. As the day comes to an end, the sun paints the sky with beautiful colors like gold, crimson, and violet. This stunning display of colors reflects off the water, creating a magical and ethereal atmosphere. So, the next time you see a beautiful sunset, remember the story of Real Foot Lake. Number 7. Oregon Crack in the Ground Imagine a huge crack in the earth, like a jagged scar stretching over two miles long and diving deep into the ground. That's what Oregon's crack looks like, and it's not your average crevice. It's a marvel hidden beneath the surface of the earth. Located in the central part of Oregon near the town of Christmas Valley, this geological wonder is part of the Crack in the Ground Trail and sits within the Four Craters Lava Field. The crack is more than just a hole in the ground. It's a window into the region's volcanic past. Its depths seem to reach into the very heart of the earth, revealing tales of ancient seismic forces that shaped the landscape long ago. This crack is a testament to the power of nature, born from a violent upheaval in the distant past. It stands as a silent witness to events shrouded in mystery, leaving a lasting mark on the Oregonian landscape. But what makes Oregon's crack even more fascinating are its rugged edges and deep chasm. They create a natural corridor where sunlight struggles to penetrate, casting shadows that add to the eerie atmosphere. It's not just a geological feature, it's a place where light and darkness battle for dominance, creating a sense of wonder and adventure for those who dare to explore its depths. For intrepid explorers, Oregon's crack has become a rite of passage, a challenge to uncover the hidden wonders of the earth. It's a place where curiosity meets courage, where the mysteries of the earth are waiting to be discovered. Number six, the blue hole. Imagine a place that's the opposite of scary like the pit of hell. Instead, it's like a true paradise straight out of a fairy tale. That's what you'll find when you visit the blue hole and its surroundings. Just one look at its breathtaking beauty fills you with excitement and fascination. Your mind starts dreaming about its charm even before you dip your toes in its waters. The famous blue hole is tucked away in Brighton, Westmoreland, Jamaica. Just a short See, drop. I was always told, be careful of something that is so beautiful and enticing and drawing you in like that because it probably is just as deadly. And it, just as deadly, bro. Looking at that, you, you think about like when you want to go on vacation, you want to see the bluest waters and stuff like that, man. But that's scary to me. Drive from the town of Negril. It's become the latest must-visit spot for people seeking to lose themselves in its mesmerizing allure. The Blue Hole is about 35 feet deep, and you have to climb down a ladder another 24 feet to reach its cobalt blue waters. This hole isn't just any old swimming spot. It's a natural spring with special healing properties. Locals say the water has medicinal qualities, making it even more magical. With its electric blue water and lush jungle surroundings, the Blue Hole Jamaica is truly a slice of paradise. It's one of the top natural attractions on the entire island of Jamaica, drawing visitors from near and far. But the history of the Blue Hole is just as fascinating as its beauty. It's like a mystery waiting to be unraveled. Who knows what secrets lie hidden beneath its sparkling waters. Exploring the Blue Hole isn't just about swimming and splashing around. It's about discovering the stories and legends that make it so special. So. If you ever find yourself in Jamaica, make sure to add the blue hole to your list of must-visit places. Number no, thank you. I'm good. I don't think I need that. <laughs> because in my mind, it's just playing out all of the things that could possibly happen. You jump in that water and you really find Megalodon. Or you jump in that water and the Kraken is down there. And y'all, it's just been asleep and y'all finally woke him up. Like all kind of different things are running through my brain of what could be down there. Nah, I'm good. Or it could be underwater volcano. Five, Raudfeld's Gorge. In Iceland, there's a breathtaking gorge called Raudfeldsga. It's like a masterpiece created by nature's powerful tools of wind and water. But what makes it even more fascinating 
is the story that's woven into its ancient rocks. Legend has it that in the 10th century, there was a young man named Raudfeld. He was the son of a local chieftain, and his tale is told in the saga of Raudfeld's Ga. According to folklore, Raudfeld met a tragic end, and the gorge itself is said to have formed from the tears of a giantess named Gerdur, mourning the loss of the young man. The entrance to Raudfeld's Ga is like a hidden treasure, tucked away in the cliffs where it's hard to spot at first glance. But as you venture inside, you'll be greeted by a sight that takes your breath away. Cascading waterfalls tumble down the moss-covered rocks, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. It's like the gorge itself is alive with ancient energy, as if the spirit of Raudfeld still lingers in the air. As you journey deeper into the heart of Raudfeld's Gya, you'll discover a hidden waterfall that adds to the allure of this natural wonder. The interplay of light and shadow within the gorge creates a magical atmosphere, making it a favorite spot for photographers and nature lovers alike. But Raudfeldja is more than just a geological marvel. It's a living story etched into the landscape of Iceland. Whether you're drawn by the legends of Raudfeld or simply by the sheer beauty of the surroundings, this hidden gem beckons to those willing to explore its secrets. It offers a glimpse into the mystical network of Iceland's rich folklore and natural wonders, inviting adventurers to uncover its mysteries and make their memories along the way. Number 4. Guryotadja Close to Lake Maivatn in Iceland lies a hidden wow. treasure known as Guryotadja. This underground cave has a story as fascinating as the warm waters that flow within it. Imagine rugged landscapes and mysterious caves, and you have the setting for Guryotadja. Long ago in the 18th century, Gurjotaja became famous for its connection to Icelandic outlaw history. A notorious outlaw named John Markison sought refuge within its depths, using the cave as a secret hideout. Stories of his daring adventures and narrow escapes echoed through the rocks, adding to the cave's mystique. But Gurjotaja isn't just known for its ties to criminals. Inside the cave, there's a warm spring heated by the Earth's fires. This unique feature invites visitors to take a dip in its soothing waters, especially during the chilly Icelandic winters. Locals have long enjoyed bathing in the warm spring, finding relief from the icy cold. In the mid-20th century, Griotaya gained even more fame when it became a filming location for the popular HBO series Game of Thrones. The cave's mystical atmosphere and otherworldly allure made it the perfect setting for a romantic scene between the characters Jon Snow and Ygrit. Despite its newfound cinematic fame, Grajotadja remains a geological wonder, blending history, folklore, and natural beauty effortlessly. Visitors to Grajotadja are welcomed by its subterranean charm and eager to experience its magic for themselves. As you explore the cave and feel the warmth of the spring water, you can't help but be transported back in time to an era of outlaws and adventure. It's a place where history comes alive, where legends echo through the rocks, and where nature reveals its hidden treasures. Number 3. Montague Fault Imagine a place where the Earth's surface has been molded and shaped over time by powerful forces deep within the ground. That's what you'll find at the Montague Fault a remarkable feature that will leave you in awe. Located on the southwestern coast of Montague Island, the Montague Fault is like a giant wrinkle in the Earth's crust. These fault scarps, as they're called, are like huge lines etched across the landscape, evidence of the immense power and movement unleashed during mighty earthquakes. But the influence of the Montague Fault doesn't stop at the coastline. Some experts believe it stretches for over 300 miles, from Montague Island to the offshore region southeast of Kodiak Island. This fault See, is... See, I think, talking about these powerful fault lines, I think we're due. I think we're due for a catastrophic earthquake like we've never seen before. And these little ones could be indicative of that. It could be telling, letting us know that, hey, these are the small ones. This is the calm before the storm. Like, I think that might be what we need to start paying attention to because it feels like we're due cause the surrounding bedrock to flex and warp, 
creating captivating contortions and distortions across the landscape. The story of the Montague Fault goes back to a historic earthquake that occurred on March 27, 1964. This earthquake, off the southwestern coast of Montague Island, caused the Earth's crust to thin and uplift in a narrow zone of crucial tectonic activity. It's this recurring susceptibility to earthquakes that has shaped the Montague Fault into what it is today. But what makes the Montague Fault so fascinating is not just its geological history, but also its impact on the landscape. Imagine standing on the rugged coastline, looking out at the twisted rocks and contorted terrain. It's like being in a place where nature's power is on full display, where you can see firsthand the forces that have shaped the Earth over millions of years. For anyone curious about the Earth's mysteries, the Montague Fault is a must-see destination. The next time you hear about a landscape shaped by seismic activities and movements, think of the Montague Fault and the awe-inspiring wonders it holds. Number 2. Kamoa Moa On March 5, 2014, something significant happened on Kilauea Volcano that we're still talking about today. It was the third anniversary of the Kamoa Moa Fisher eruption, a volcanic event that lasted for four days and left a lasting impact on the landscape. The Kamoa Moa eruption was not a sudden event, but a result of gradual changes happening beneath the surface. The vents on the East Rift Zone had been gradually shutting down, leading to increased pressure in Kilauea's magma system. This buildup of pressure eventually led to the eruption at the Kamoa Moa fissure. During the eruption, magma was diverted from beneath Pu'u and Kilauea's summit. Now y'all keep seeing why they keep allowing these holes or drilling these holes around Yellowstone so that pressure doesn't build up. And if Yellowstone pops, then we all in trouble. There's nowhere you can go. Caused Pu'u's crater floor to collapse and the summit lava lake to drain. However, the pressure within Kilauea's magma storage areas and transport pathways continued to increase, leading to the reappearance of the summit lava lake and the restart of eruptive activity at Pau. What's fascinating is that scientists were able to monitor these changes in real time. They used a combination of geological, geophysical, and geochemical monitoring techniques to track the progression of the eruption. This monitoring allowed them to recognize signs of eruptive activity months in advance, giving them valuable time to prepare and respond. The Kamoa Moa eruption highlights the importance of monitoring and studying volcanoes to better understand their behavior and protect communities living near them. Number one, a crack in Mexico. On August 16th, 2014, something astonishing happened in Emoco, Northwest Mexico. A drone flying overhead. That. that might not actually be caused by a fault line. That might actually be caused because of all them tunnels they done built and traffic drugs through them. You know what I mean? That might be what it is. Pictured incredible images of a massive crack in the earth that seemed to appear overnight. This crack, which measured an astounding 16 feet wide and 25 feet deep, caused chaos in the area, affecting farmland and the important link road to Highway 26, a vital connection for Emoco to the rest of Mexico. The crack, located near Hermoseo, Mexico, was a stark and sudden change in the desert landscape. It had clean, well-defined walls and plunged deep into the earth, creating a surreal sight. Such a large crack indicated significant movement in the earth, which was a cause for concern. Residents in Laguna Ejido were the first to notice the crack and quickly alerted the Jimenez civil protection officials. Experts were called in to examine the fissure, but they found no immediate danger. Despite their investigation, the exact cause of the crack remained a mystery. Geologists from the University of Sonora proposed a theory about the crack's origins. They suggested that the extensive extraction of groundwater for agriculture might be to blame. Groundwater is essential for watering crops, especially in arid regions. When farmers extract large amounts of water from the ground, it can lower the water table and cause the land to dry out, leading to the formation of cracks. NASA scientists have expressed concerns that this issue may not be unique to Mexico. 
They worry that widespread groundwater depletion could lead to similar collapses worldwide. Even a partial decrease in groundwater levels can have a significant impact on the stability of the Earth's surface. At the bottom of the crack, there was evidence of a stream of water, indicating that the problem might persist. If intensive agriculture is indeed the cause of this massive crack, it could continue to widen, posing a long-term threat to the area. This situation highlights the complex relationship between human activities and the Earth's stability, emphasizing the need for sustainable groundwater management practices. Which of these widest cracks did you find intriguing and astonishing?